we are dealing with a very very interesting aspect of lipid metabolism that is the phospholipid metabolism we have dealt elaborately with the uh, synthesis of phosphatidylethanolamine in a video so in this video we are going to look at how exactly phosphatidylcholine is synthesized remember phosphatidylcholine is also known by the name lecithin what is peculiar about phosphatidylcholine is it has got uh, in the SN1 position it will have a saturated fatty acid so name saturated fatty acids which are the saturated fatty acid palmitic acid stearic acid etc so these are found at the position number one in SN number two it is normally it is an unsaturated fatty acids so you should be very familiar with the names of unsaturated fatty acids which are the names so you can have you can have folic acid you can have linoleic acid and linolenic acid now the compositions can vary depending on where this phospholipid is present so therefore there are locations where unsaturation can be as much as 80 percent so this is the peculiarity of phospholipid remember phospholipids which will remain in a solid form within the membrane have a great advantage for this plasma membranes that's why you will find phospholipids are used for assembly of uh, plasma membrane so let us see how this uh, uh, lecithin is in the size lecithin is in the size in two ways one way is called in the de novo pathway de novo means from the very beginning and the second mechanism is called in the sandwich pathway so let us look at the de novo pathway as we have seen it is starting from the very very beginning you do not need a preformed choline in order to synthesize phosphatidylcholine so which is our starting material our starting material is going to be phosphatidylethanolamide so therefore we will begin synthesis of phosphatidylcholine from phosphatidylethanolamide so phosphatidylethanolamide let us write the structure of phosphatidylethanolamide so therefore this is CH2OOCR1 first fatty acid is attached to the glycerol second fatty acid is attached this is the third carbon of glycerol P there is the head group begins here CH2 CH2 NH3 this is the structure of phosphatidylethanolamide if you look at the structure of phosphatidyl Choline. structural difference happens only here there will be three methyl groups attached which is the methyl donor in biological system it is s adenosyl methionine so you know that s adenosyl methionine if you remember the structure of methionine which is an essential amino acid so methionine has an activated methyl group attached to the sulfur this methyl group is donated to phosphatidylethanolamide so once this methyl group is removed from s adenosyl methionine it becomes devoid of methyl group it becomes s adenosyl homocysteine so these methyl groups are attached one after the other so in the first step one sam is added that will add a methyl group to phosphatidylethanolamine and it forms s adenosyl homocysteine when you add one more methyl group you will get phosphatidyl monomethylethanolamine you will get phosphatidyl monomethylethanolamide now in the next step is to add one more methyl group again by SAM so you will get S adenosyl homocysteine what will be the product phosphatidyl 
डाइमीथाइल इथेनोलामाइड फॉस्फाटिडाइल डाइमीथाइल फॉस्फाटिडाइल डाइमीथाइल इथेनोलामाइड now comes the third step if the third step is to add one more methyl group so when you add one more methyl group to phosphatidyl dimethyl ethanolamine you will get phosphatidyl trimethyl ethanolamine or phosphatidyl choline let us draw the structure here itself so therefore you are going to get ch3 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 this is the structure of phosphatidyl choline so if this is known as the de novo pathway for the synthesis of de novo pathway for the synthesis of phosphatidyl choline so we have seen that in the de novo pathway of uh, uh, phosphatidyl choline synthesis just one enzyme that is methyl transferase is able to continuously uh, repeatedly it can add a methyl group to phosphatidyl ethanolamine and it can make phosphatidyl choline that is the beauty of it let us begin to understand how phosphatidyl choline is synthesized from either salvage pathway so we are trying to salvage the choline molecule which is formed in the system so therefore we begin with the choline molecule if the structure of choline is ch2oh ch2 n ch3 ch3 and ch3 there will be a plus sign there so this is the structure of choline so now it will follow exactly in the pathway that we have understood in the synthesis of phosphatidyl ethanolamine step number 1 is to activate this choline so how do we activate choline by using an atp molecule so we need an atp molecule atp is added adp is removed and inorganic phosphate is added to the phosphate group it becomes phosphocholine it becomes phosphocholine and not writing the structure the name of the enzyme will be choline kinase okay choline kinase is the enzyme which will convert choline into phosphocholine in the next step in synthesizing phosphatidyl choline is to the phosphocholine we are going to increase the energy content of phosphocholine how do we do that by attaching this molecule to a ctp molecule so therefore a ctp is added ctp a nucleotide which is used for phospholipid metabolism so ctp is added now count how many phosphate groups are there there are three this is one four totally there are four phosphate groups so if the last two phosphate groups are removed which means if the phosphocholine will act on in the alpha anhydride link for ester linkage so therefore uh, ppi is removed ppi is removed what is left behind a cmp molecule is left behind to that cmp phosphocholine is added so it becomes cdp choline it becomes cdp choline now this reaction is pushed to forward by hydrolyzing pyrophosphate so pyrophosphate can very easily be hydrolyzed by the addition of a molecule of water you require an enzyme known as pyrophosphatase and you will get 2 pi which can push the reaction or make the reaction thermodynamically possible so this is the beauty of this hydrolysis reaction and you will get cdp choline the enzyme that will do this catalysis is a transferase enzyme okay a transferase enzyme is required what is the next step so you have cdp choline we are continue here you have cdp choline now to this cdp choline we are going to attach a diacylglycerol let us look at the structure of diacylglycerol so a diacylglycerol is this
This is the structure of diacylglycerol. Now to this, this diacylglycerol, this hydroxyl group will attack on in the CDP choline and if the phosphocholine is transferred here. So therefore, this becomes This becomes this. This is the structure of phosphatidylcholine. And what will happen to, to either CDP? It is removed as CMP molecule. Removed as CMP. And this is also catalyzed by a transferase enzyme. So this is how we make phosphatidylcholine by using the, sal uh, the salvage pathway. Hope you have enjoyed this video on synthesizing phosphatidylcholine. We will be coming up with more videos related to phospholipid metabolism. Keep watching and keep subscribing.